What's up guys? So today we're doing some knife testing. I got a roast here. A hunk of a roast, half of a roast anyway. And it's in a you know um you know a little meat bag from the store because I am gonna cut this up and eat it, so I wanted to protect the meat a little bit. And then we have a layer of denim. So I'm gonna demonstrate how much damage a small knife can do. I've done this before, but it was a long time ago, so we're gonna do it again. But I'd say it's kind of funny because I just cut this in half. I'm home with Christina. And I was <laughs> taking the denim off an old pair of jeans and I was taping it to it. And she said, what are you doing? And I said, oh, I'm going to do a video and, you know, slash into this. And it's funny because it reminded me of Jaws. One of my favorite movies when the guy takes his wife's holiday roast to catch the fish. But anyway, so let's plop this on the rock. Now, of course, big knives do lots of damage. Now, because we're doing a meat test, you think I would use something like this cold steel. But not today. As much as I would love to cut this in half with this, that's not the point. We know that this is going to do massive damage. So we're going to take this old case knife, all right? You can see this has three blades in it. And we're going to use the smallest blade of the three, all right? Now this has no lock on it, no fancy mechanisms, just an old-fashioned slip joint with a nice sharp little blade, all right? So I'm going to get a slash on this meat. All right, so naturally, because I'm right-handed, I want to come in from the right, but I'm going to try something different, because obviously in some kind of a defensive situation, that's the only time you'd be using a knife, right? Defense. Uh, you're going to do all kinds of motions from every which way. So I'm going to practice a slash from the left to the right. So I'm going to come in, and I'm going to try to get a nice centered slash with this knife. All right, so let me zoom in just a little bit more. All right, so here we go. So, let's do a little investigation and see what we got. There was one little slash that came in here. You can see it cut through the denim. This is a big old fat layer, all right? So even though it cut the fat, it didn't penetrate in too deep, all right? So my next slash, I'm actually going to be pushing forward towards the meat, all right? Almost like I'm getting my whole hand in there and see if we can get more penetration. All right, here we go. So the second one looked to be about the same. I happen to put this denim on the fat layer. All right, there's quite a bit of fat on this side. You can see obviously a slice of the denim. There's just a little slice through that meat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna swap this to the meat side. We're gonna see the difference. All right, so I just switched it over. So now we're just up against meat instead of fat. I'm gonna try that instead. And here we go. Now that was a little bit more dramatic. Let me zoom out here. All right. So the cut, obviously I moved this entire piece of denim. See if I can open this up a little bit. It's like maybe the cut went through one of the other holes because I don't see a new hole. I pull this off you can definitely see without the fat because this is a before i was using the fat layer much more protection it was only a little bit of a skim but just on the meat you can see how deep that is all right that's a pretty gnarly cut all right so in a defensive situation if you had to use a knife any knife is better than nothing even this teeny tiny little blade can definitely do what you need it to do to get out of a bad situation so that's it for now Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go inside and cook this up, make myself some beef stew. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.